Hello everybody, I am back and ready to make some art with you this week. Happy Easter. Um, I hope that you're still enjoying the Easter season. The Easter season is not over. It continues all the way until the Feast of Pentecost. So we are still very much in that Easter season right now. Um, I've decided to do a, something a little different this week because we've been doing a lot of drawing activities. So I'm gonna be trying to switch it up and give y'all something a little different to create at home. So stay tuned and I hope that you enjoy this different style of art lesson and I am excited to do art with you. Let's get started. All right, so I heard that second grade has been working on fractions. So I thought that this would be a really cool way of incorporating your math lesson into your art. So we're actually gonna be making fraction collages. So let me show you what we are working with. All right, so we are gonna be using some circles to create our collage today. So one of the types of circles you can do is just a whole circle, which would be one or one over one. If you're talking about a whole or a half, right? Because two halves equal a whole or we could have some fourths. So we have four pieces here, which are each one fourth, or you can divide your circle into eighths. So each piece here is one eighth. So those are gonna be the fractions we'll be working with to create our collage. Let me show you how to get your pieces. So I had a couple of old magazines laying around that had some fun different designs. So it doesn't matter what you have. If you don't have any magazines to work with, you can also do this on regular paper and color your circles and just use colored paper for your collage. So as you can see, I have already cut out a couple of circles. Um, so I'm just finding pages in the magazine that have some sort of design and then cutting out these circles that I'm going to use for my collage. So here are a couple of samples that I have here. Um, so just flipping through the pages and looking for um, just kind of blanket pages that have designs on them that you can use. So for example, here we go. They have this um, page with all these different colored pea pods right here. So I have chosen this bottle cap as my circle template. So I'm just gonna lay the template where I want. I really like the colors of this one right here. I think that's a good diversity. I could probably make two on this page. And then I'm just gonna use my Sharpie and I'm gonna trace this circle around my template. So here I go, I'm gonna trace my circle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this circle out. So you can do this for as many different circles as you want. I would suggest possibly getting at least 10 circles and then we're gonna cut them into pieces and use them for our collage. So I will show you the next step. All right, so I've already started to cut some of my circles in pieces. I really liked that this circle had a kind of a radial design already where it kind of is already in a circle. So I was gonna use this as the center of my collage. So I'm not gonna cut this one. I'm gonna keep it as my whole. And then I have this particular circle that I cut in halves. And then I have this circle that I cut into fourths. And this one that I cut into eighths. And the reason why I'm using just these fractions is because they're a lot easier to cut into pieces. And don't be worried if your pieces aren't perfect. I promise my pieces are not perfect. Um, but the best way to do it is you wanna take your circle that you've cut and you're gonna fold it before you cut it. So this one, I think I want, I want fourths. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half. And then I'm gonna fold it in half the other way. So like this. Need two hands. Okay, then once I get it folded in both ways, I'm gonna unfold it and I'm gonna go ahead and cut on my lines. So as carefully as I can, like I said, does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna cut those shapes 
out. So I would suggest having um, two shapes cut into fourths, two shapes cut into halves, two shapes cut into eighths. And then, um, and, and picking maybe one that you really want to be kind of your center of your art. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut um, a couple of more of these. Um, as you can see, I found some solid color pages in my magazine. So like I said, you can, doesn't have to be a magazine. Make sure you get permission from your parents before you start cutting up their magazines. Um, but you can also just use colored paper. So if you have colored paper at home, or if you want to just create white circles on regular white paper or lined paper and just color them in to use as your collage pieces, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna finish cutting these pieces up and then I will show you how to construct them. All right, I have compiled all of my pieces inside of a box and I'm ready to start gluing. So I'm gonna start with that piece I originally told you about, this piece. I'm gonna glue it in the center. So, let me get my glue. All right, so I'm adding my glue okay. to this piece. What? And I'm going to stick it in the center of my paper. All right, next I'm going to get my half circles. And I'm going to add some of my half circles to the outside. So I'm gonna start by doing a half circle here and that same half, the half of this on the other side here. And then So this is my finished product. So I took all the pieces of the circles that I cut up and I glued them in an arrangement in a radial form. Radial means from the center out, so in a circle. And what I tried to do is I tried to create balance. So whatever I did on one side, I did on the other side. So you can see how I did the same thing. So on this side here, I had turned the triangle with the curved part up and then put two yellows. And so I did it on the exact opposite side the same way with the purple and the two yellows. And then this way I had the purple with the point facing and so the same thing on the other side. So you wanna kind of create um, an image where if you folded it in half, it would be symmetrical, which means that each side would be the same. So I hope that you enjoyed this different lesson and um, I hope that you get to create something beautiful and I will see you next week.